You're gonna walk through the door any minute. <sighs> what are you doing? Uh, what would you think? I'm here because of Taya. Todd, is that you? What are you doing here? Well, I need you to come to the court with me to help me gain custody of Danny. How can I possibly be of help with that? <clears throat> well, you can testify. You were with Tay when she died. You can just tell the judge that she wanted me to raise Danny. So, no, come on, no, let's no, no, no. There's no way I can testify as to what Taya was thinking at the end. And she had a brain tumor. She was heavily well, you medicated. You told us that she asked for us at the end, that she wanted us there. Yes, but... but not Danny and Ross, Danny and me, right? Okay, but well, that's... that's so all you have to tell the judge. Come on, let's go. It's about to begin. Come on. Is that you, Dan, Daniela? Baby, I'm okay. We'll see when you get here. Listen, all we have to do is tell the judge that Tay wanted Dana to be with me. And that was her dying wish and all that kind of I'm stuff. I'm sorry, Todd, okay. but I've got a plane to catch and I've got a patient who needs to... Bastard. Right? You lied to us about Taya. You didn't tell us that she asked for us, that she wanted us there. No. Don't, 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 don't try to justify yourself. You didn't tell us the truth when we needed you to that one time. Now we need you to. Now you're going to. You're going to go to that courtroom and you're going to testify on my behalf. I'm going to have your fingers cut off. I'm serious. You know I can. And what would that do to your patients then? Todd? Todd? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Nothing. No. It sounded like a woman calling my name. I uh, know. Anyway, that was um, that was uh, my patient. She's been calling for her husband Rob all day. Uh, she, she's in pain. Look, if you'll excuse me. Wait a minute. Now. Yeah. You want to tell me where you are? Is that Todd? No. But I heard his voice. No, no, that was someone else. No, no, no. I know Todd's voice. You were I... dreaming, Tam. They'll be here later, okay? Yeah. Yes, I'm on my way. Dude, what do I have to do to get you to come with me? To beg your patience to give you an hour off? Okay. Let's go. Something Dr. Evans ordered for you to calm you down. I swore I, 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 I heard my husband's voice. Greg said no. Your Honor, this isn't easy, but I have to do this for my daughter. Excuse me, Your Honor. Your Honor, I have a witness now, Dr. Greg Evans. You're late, He's... Mr. Manning. Now sit down. You may continue, Mr. Ray. No, no, no. You don't understand. Shut up, this, Manning. This man was with my wife when she died. He knows exactly what she wanted and who Danielle should be living with. That's enough. Ms. Rayburn, I'd like you to step outside. There's no need for you to hear all this. Your Honor, I realize it's an unusual request, but... I do think Dr. Evans has something pertinent to offer. I agree. Dr. Evans? Tell her. Tell her, Taya, I wanted Danny to be with me. Is this your husband? He was here earlier. I wonder why Dr. Evans didn't tell you. Dr. Evans, do you know Mrs. Manning's last wishes? Yes, Your Honor. Taya made it perfectly clear to me that she wanted Ross Rayburn to raise Danielle. 